for letting you people, oh, 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 sure. yeah, for yeah. letting you the people who you represent uh, <coughs> come and voice our opinions and listen to uh, what we have as concerns. Sir, I'm a registered nurse, and um, the reason I became a nurse was to use my medical knowledge so that I could care for patients and assist them through their medical issues and give them excellent care. Have you read the complete um, health care plan? That is my first question to you. And I'm going to go on before you answer that. Um, sir, I read 800 pages of that plan. And my concern as we sit here today is the small business which are the backbone of this country. Um, and in section 113, pages 21 through 22, the health care plan mandates that the government will audit the books of all employers that insure their employees. This doesn't seem fair. In section 122, pages 29, lines 4 through 16, um, it clearly states in words truly does that the government will ration health care. I don't understand. Why is that in the bill? In section 142, page 42, it says that a government health commissioner will choose health care benefits for everyone, and that takes away from the doctor-patient relationship. In section 152, it says that health care will be provided to all non-U.S. citizens and further says in section 59B that any non-resident alien is exempt from individual taxes and that as citizens, we the people are going to pay for that care. It further goes on to say in section 1501, pages 659-670, that doctors in the medical residency, the government will tell you where you can take your residency education and where you will live. Oh, come on. Be respectful. Are you going to read all those pages? No, I'm not going to go through any more of these pages. But I just wanted to know that I have read the bill. And, you know, the, the problem that we have is that, you know, each person um, in, in this room today has has issues with, with health care. Granted, that's, that's, you know, something that's very true. But I discovered as I read the plan that it really has not a lot to do with health care, but it has a lot to do with government control of our lives.